Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, June 2022, question 12. We need to show that the integral between 1 and e squared of x cubed ln x dx equals a times e to the 8 plus b, where a and b are rational constants to be found. So looking at this, we've got two terms inside the integral. We've got x cubed and ln x. Doesn't look like we can do this by inspection. I can't think of anything obvious that would differentiate to make x cubed ln x. So we can't use that. So as we've got the two terms, this would suggest we're going to do integration by parts. So here's our formula for integration by parts. If we write out the integral as u dv by dx dx, then this is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du dx with respect to x. So we need to pick which of the x cubed and the ln x are going to be u, which is going to be dv by dx. And the way to do that is by looking at them and thinking which ones can we differentiate, which can we integrate, which ones get simpler by doing either of those things and so on. So out of x cubed and ln x, we could differentiate both of them. That's nice and easy. But in terms of integrating, ln x is a tricky one to integrate. So because of that reason, we're going to let our u equal the ln x. So this is going to be the one we differentiate, which means that dv by dx is going to be the x cubed. So this is the one that's easier to integrate. The differential of ln x is just 1 over x. The integral of x cubed, I'm going to raise the power by 1 and divide by the new power. So v is equal to a quarter x to the power of 4. Therefore, our integral without the bounds, x cubed ln x dx, is going to equal our u times our v, so a quarter x to the power of 4 ln x, minus the integral of v, that's your quarter, times x to the power of 4, times by du by dx, so that's the 1 over x there. So we can just simplify that last term, 1 over x times x to the 4 is x cubed. So we've now simplified this down to a quarter, x to the power of 4 ln x minus the integral of a quarter x cubed dx. So all we need to do is integrate this a quarter x to the cubed. So again, we're going to raise the power by 1. We're going to divide by the new power. So that becomes a 16th x to the power of 4. And as we haven't got our bounds on at the minute, it's just an indefinite integral and put the plus c on the end. Now we've integrated, we can put the bounds back on. So our integral between 1 and e squared we're going to write this out with the square brackets. We've got our integral, a quarter, x to the power of 4, ln x, minus a 16th x to the 4 inside the brackets. And we've got our bounds of 1 and e squared on the end. Now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute the e squared into what we've just worked out. And we're going to subtract the same thing, but with 1 substituted into it. So here we go. We've got our e squared substituted into the x, so a quarter e squared to the power of 4 times ln e squared minus a sixteenth e squared to the power of 4. And then we're taking away the same thing, but with the 1 in there. So x to the power of 4, if x is 1, that just becomes 1. So we've got a quarter ln 1 minus a sixteenth. Simplifying this, we can see that e squared to the power of 4, if you've got a power of a power, we multiply them together. So that will become e to the power of 8. And using our rules of logarithms, if we've got ln of e squared, because that squared is inside the log, we can bring it down as a multiple. So we end up with a quarter e to the power of 8 times by 2 ln e minus 16th e to the 8. Then for our last bit there, ln 1 is just 0. So a quarter of ln 1 is 0. And then being really careful with our subtracting a negative there, we end up with a plus 16th on the end. We can now simplify further because ln e is just 1. So our first term becomes a quarter e to the 8 times 2, which is a half e to the 8. We've still got our minus 16th e to the 8 and our plus 16th there. Let's bring our e to the power of 8s together. A half minus a 16th is 7 sixteenths. So we've got 7 sixteenths e to the 8 plus a 16th, which is in the form that we were asked to find. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.